Hi, uh, Republic Poly DOL students. My name is uh, Miss Lim, affectionately known as your Fessy or Miss Lim in Republic Poly. Okay, today I am here to, well, there's a car backing up. Uh, it's okay, you can still look at me. Okay, today I'm here to give you a little interpretation about your time in DOL. And I hope that in this interpretation, I will be able to give you a new outlook towards your DOL journey. Okay, and see how your different experiences and the friends that you have met have enriched your life here. Okay, so here I am. I'm putting on my glasses. It's serious time. I'll look at things differently now. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is this over here, our rock wall and ropes course. Um, in Singapore, there are many rock wall, ropes course, but in DOL, it is very different. It is actually what we call our lab, our living lab. This is where you have your actual lessons. This is our classroom where you come here and you practice. Over the other side, if you can see, would be the swimming pool. Actually, our pool is actually having a makeover now. You can see the kayaks. So that is also our another lab where the students do their kayaking module. Okay. Um, the other thing I think I want to talk about is a bit about me. Have you ever wondered in DOL, who are the people who are teaching you? We have about 12 staff and they all used to be outdoor instructors who used to work in the industry, maybe at places like Abai, Our Bound, Ministry of Education or even private outdoor companies. Okay, so uh, don't trust me. You can go and ask all your facilitators to know how experienced they are. Alright, um, let me see. Where shall we go now? I think I should ask someone to clear the rubbish. Alright, so uh, we'll move indoors now for the next part of our journey. Okay, and now we are inside Republic Poly, of course, in the comfort of aircon. I don't know if you noticed, but in Republic Poly, I always find it very interesting that there are no windows and no doors. So when I want to get out, I really have to get out in order to get some fresh air. Okay, I want to show you E5. Uh, some of you may or may not know, this is our SHL block. And did you know that there are rock wall tiles here? This is a fake rock wall. It's like just a decoration. So we didn't understand. When we had this build, we were thinking, why can't we just have a real wall? Okay, but back to serious stuff. Uh, before we move to other places in RP, um, I brought you to this place because I think as year 2 students, you are still quite foreign to this place because you have spent all your time in other pods doing all the year 1 common modules. So I also want to put a little idea in your mind which is a bit foreign, which is the idea that you have come to Republic Poly all right, and you have taken off your uniform and you are meeting different people from everywhere and you are getting new experiences. Did it ever occur to you that your life is actually being enriched by this new experience in many different ways that you never thought about. Okay, so hold that thought and then I will bring you to new places to talk about all these things that I just mentioned. Okay, we are now at the Republic Polytechnic Library. Okay, which I don't know how often you come in. This is the stairs, the entrance, and usually when students come into the library, there are a few reasons. First one is to borrow books, but in DOL, we don't borrow a lot of books. I think not because our students are not hardworking, but because most of our materials are already online. So the moment you come into RP, I think you get into a very, very rich e-learning kind of platform and all the learning happen online. That is something that is not very common in secondary school, but it's very normal here. Okay, so they come in here and most of them you will see that they go towards there but before we walk towards there i want to show you something if you ever come to the library did you notice that there are like many great posters about reading this is darth vader star wars and if you look behind there there are many superhero posters like avenger like okay that's not important okay so but yes right at the end there is the it help desk most students when they come into year one they bring their laptop 
I used to have students who tell me, PBL, problem-based learning, or is it called, please bring laptop. So the laptop, the e-learning resources, are ways that I think our students' life have been enriched, but they never realize it. Sometimes when you take an exam and your laptop is down, oh my God, you should see the student's face. Uh, we use our laptop so often that sometimes I joke that our students have lost the ability to, to write, think about it. When was the last time you actually wrote something? Okay, so enough of the library. Um, no, not yet. At the top there is the library cafe. But uh, interestingly, in DOL, we have realized that most of our DOL students tend to stay in the classroom with their peers, hang out outside the classroom, go to the canteen, and it's back to the classroom. Okay, so I don't think we need to go there because we are seldom there. And We are now at everybody's place, with a favourite place, which is the canteen. Uh, did you know that in RP, there are 14,000 students, which is why all the time when you look, the canteen is always empty. Uh, empty. I mean, now it's empty, but it's always crowded. Uh, and did you ever think about it, that when you're in year one, you start class at 8.30, year two, 9.15, year three, 9.45. Is it to reward you? The answer is no. The answer is to stagger the canteen timing so that not all of you will be here at the same time. I think that's the answer. Okay, and the other interesting thing we note is many students uh, tend to build their social life around the timing of the their breaks. So if you're from different schools and diplomas, you will come together and then you will arrange with your friends first break, second break, and then you will meet them. Okay, that's if you are very friendly and friends from other schools. Okay, um, the other thing is we notice that students tend to come out they like to pack their food and then they go straight into the classroom. Do you know why? Uh, actually, I think it's because they just want to on their laptop, put on their earphones and watch movies. And for some hardworking students, they like to do their work. That's probably it. So, um, yeah. Anything else about the canteen? Well, this place over here uh, is where you will find a lot of the DOL stuff. We like to come here because there's this excellent coffee maker, barrister. So she makes the best coffee in the world, which is why we like to hang out here. All right. So this is really nice and empty now because it's the term break. Okay, we are now at W1 Forum, and this place behind here is actually where interviews take place, so that people can come into DOL. There are some of you who come from ITE, some of you come from PFP, some of you early admissions some of you even from other polis. So this is the place where we actually interview them before they come into RP. So I bet you didn't know that among your friends, there are many people who came in through different routes. Of course, among your friends, there are many who want to be in DOL. Maybe a handful of you who do not want to be in DOL. But I think, uh, based on my experience, after the three years, the journey is always enriching. Okay, so this is a bit about admissions, how you start and where you are now. Um, as I end this journey, I have some serious things to just uh, recap since we're at the end is we started off by going to the lab which is the ropes course at the ALC tower we didn't manage to go to the pool because the weather is bad so we hope that you enjoy your lab experiences where a lot of authentic learning take place and we were in the library and we talked about how you have learned so much more using the e-learning platform and then we moved into the canteen and we talked about how you make new friends um, you socialize a lot Okay, and then in year one, you made a lot of new friends. And finally, we are here at the end. Um, my takeaway for you is, in your last one year in DOL, in RP, be open to try anything because you never know how your life will be enriched through the people that you meet and through the experiences that you may have had. Okay, so with that, I thank you for listening to me. And please, don't be afraid to criticize my performance. Huh? You mean all this while? I look better without my glasses and you film the whole thing with me wearing my glasses? Yeah.